good evening. My name is Miss Cannon. I am the new Achieve teacher after 20 years, 23 years of teaching Spanish and French. Now I am teaching English back to my native language and I'm super excited about it. Super excited to be working with your kids. I wanted to show you the Google Classroom that we've all become very familiar with. Um, in that classroom under classwork is the syllabus clipped right to the top. And I'm going to go over that syllabus with you quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. How to get a hold of me and things like that. The easiest way to get a hold of me, the fastest way, <clears throat> excuse me, is to reach me by email. My address is right there. Your students need to be in a quiet place to work every day. I know that's hard sometimes. I have one student who's actually working in a closet. Um, so whatever it takes, they need notebook and paper because we take a lot of notes and a calendar to keep organized and the phone numbers of at least three people in the Google Classroom in case they're absent or have any questions or just want to form study groups. <clears throat> the class is geared to improve reading, writing, speaking and listening in English. We do a lot of all four of those things. And we use those reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills to navigate American culture. This class also gives the students support for their other classes, such as biology or algebra, um, history, the other English classes that the kids might need because they're limited by their English skills. We have a, a assistant named Mrs. Mustafa who follow some of the kids around in their harder classes and helps them one-on-one, -on -one, so that's very lucky. We also explore future goals. We do some projects about college and careers, and we also have guest speakers come, and hopefully we make lifelong friends here. <coughs> Excuse me. If you'd like more specifics about the exact content of the class, there is, um, the state does give us framework for our lesson planning, and you could reach that through this link right here. The students ask, why am I here? We tell them they're here and achieve because the district has decided they need a little more help in English before we let them be completely independent. A lot of them want to leave the class because they're hoping for more space in their schedule to do more creative things, maybe guitar, things like that, <clears throat> journalism. But before they do that, they need to prove that they don't need the extra help. And the way they do that is keeping their grades up. Um, you, the parent, would give your approval or guardian. And there's a special test that's designed to see if the student is ready. And I will help them in every way I can to get their grades up. And so will Mrs. Mustafa to help them get the grades up and to help them pass this special test. <clears throat> this next part of the syllabus is just talking about what's expected on Zoom being on time and things like that, the usual things that are expected in a regular classroom, but just a reminder that on on video we expect the same thing. The cameras must be on. And I do put that as part of their grade, that their camera is on. <clears throat> if um, your child is going to be absent, we need you to call the attendance office and let us know why the child is absent. And they can go on to Google and the classroom and find out what we did in class, and I'll show that in a minute. But um, back to the camera being on and being able to participate in class for this class to work, of course, we need to read, write, speak, and listen together. So the camera must be on and the microphone must be working. If there's a problem with that, please email me and we can try and get that fixed. That meaningful participation is 25% of their grade. The projects and language projects and culture projects and quizzes are 50% of the grade, so half. And then the program we use to improve reading scores, <clears throat> reading comprehension and listening is called ILIT 20, and that is 25% of the grade. I've clipped on here the academic integrity policy 
for William S. Hart. Um, everybody needs to do their own work. And <clears throat> the consequences for not doing one's own work are pretty severe. So it's very important that we make good choices and do our own work. If, if um, your student would like to meet with me for some extra help, we can do that during eighth period. And we can also set up times to meet with the math teacher and the history teacher and the mod sub teacher and anybody that your child needs help with. We can do that during eighth period, which is 140 to 330. You can just email me or ask me in class. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Go back to the Google Classroom. So that's where I have the syllabus. Google Classroom starts with this stream right here. The stream I always try to start with the dates and an agenda, what we're going to do that day, and any homework or any continuing practice, anything that can be done during flex time or anything that needs to be done before I see them again. At the end of class, I usually summarize what we did in class. <clears throat> so if ever they're absent, they can come look in this stream and see what they missed and what I expect them to have for the next class. Sometimes in the stream, I'll put an announcement from the school, such as the new schedule, anything that I find useful. And in a couple of days, we'll be talking about clubs and clubs that the students can join. That will be in a couple of days. And I highly recommend that your child joins a club. It's a chance to get out of this, the loneliness of the house during pandemic COVID time and also a chance to practice more their English in relaxed settings. I think that's it. I've gone over Google Classroom, the classwork, and the syllabus. Oh, there's one resource down here that's quite handy, which is a dictionary for English learners. It also pronounces words for English learners, so that's really handy. And the more they pronounce better, the more confident they feel and the more willing they are to participate in class. So I really recommend a lot of pronunciation practice. And I also clip down here under resources um, a list of who their guidance counselors are and how to get a hold of them. So thank you for coming to coming to back to school night. And please let me remind you, if you need to get a hold of me, please email me and we can set up a meeting. I look forward to having a really good year with you all. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.